that how I want to start. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to everyone and welcome to 2021. I want to say thank you uh, for your involvement at Christmas. It was awesome. Especially I want to thank you sponsors. Thank you for your Christmas gifts to the kids and for your messages to them. They had a great Christmas. Because of COVID, we weren't able to meet in person and have the fiestas like we normally do, but the teachers picked out incredible Christmas gifts on your behalf. The kids loved them and the families loved getting their family care package. It was full of eggs and fruit and vegetables. And so those house visits were just a great celebration of Christmas. So guys, thank you so much. Last year, obviously with COVID was a lot different than what we're used to, but guys, God's faithfulness is just incredible. For most of the year, we weren't able to meet in person in the classrooms, but we took that time to go and do the medical house visits to give out the family care packages to be checking on people and to be praying for them the incredible thing is that towards the end of last year the families had homework and that homework specifically stepped them through the plan of salvation over the course of about 10 weeks the fruit that God has produced in those families is amazing and the relationship that we have with each family is now much deeper than it was before so last year was great to get to know those families we're very excited that we're now meeting in person again. So Chihuahua uses a stoplight system in regards to preventions for COVID-19. Last year, we jumped between red and orange. At one point, we got down to yellow. At every point during the year, Lichen is observing all of the official regulations. We wanna keep everybody safe and at the same time, we want to make sure that God's kingdom is advancing amongst the Tatamadas. So what we've been doing is we've been meeting at 30% physical capacity in our buildings, which are the regulations. And so we divide the kids into two groups and they come and we observe all those regulations. But it's, a, it's actually a blessing because although it's much more time for the teachers to be meeting with multiple groups, there are fewer kids in the classroom. So it's much more of a discipleship environment. This year, right now, Chihuahua is at yellow. And so we're able to be meeting in person observing all of those regulations we suspect that we might continue at yellow until roughly the summer time frame but obviously it's in God's hands we can't wait to get back to green so that teams can be coming regularly and we can get back to all of the non-modified activities in light shine guys perhaps some of you have seen some posts in recent weeks you might have received an email about hope this year like last year we're really focusing on bringing hope into the tatamata worldview in fact uh, the logo of light shine is light shine a living hope we're talking about jesus so this year we're making uh, bold changes to bring hope into the kids lives. We are going to be permanently cutting the class size in half. We saw so much fruit coming out of these COVID restrictions with having to have smaller groups. Um, so that's an exciting change that we're right in the process of right now. Secondly, we are changing the format for the teenagers. It's much more of a discipleship format. They're going to be spending a long afternoon here at the ministry house doing activities together. The goal of all of this is to bring hope into the children's lives the same way that Jesus did through discipleship. The third incredible change that's coming, we're actually launching Tatamata Maranatha. And we're gonna, you're gonna be seeing a lot of posts about that in the coming weeks, but we're gonna be bringing a living hope into the mountains, everywhere the Tatamatas are found. So guys, we're so excited for how we anticipate God moving this year as the kids learn about a living hope. Last year was challenging for many of us in many ways, but I want you to understand that God is moving in phenomenal ways and we see that through what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, part of the reason last year was so incredible and we saw God move in such big ways is because all of us, including you, came together as the body of Christ and God responded to our prayers. So we're gonna have a lot of exciting posts coming out and I just encourage you to stay plugged in Spread the word with your friends, and together let's see what God has for us this year. El Afadero, the Tatamata church that was planted through Lightshine nearly 10 years ago, it's healthier than it's ever been with more people attending than have ever come and stronger relationships than there ever have been. We have more kids coming right now than we've ever had in the history of Lightshine. Not only that, but in the tiny little colonia of Nogales, which has been a mission outpost, we're increasing the number of kids to 40. Uh, it's amazing what's happening. We are preparing to begin 
in a fifth colonia at Taramata Sur. So guys, I want to thank you so much for your prayers and I just want to worship God because he's an amazing God. He's continuing to move in Chihuahua in incredible ways. Thank you so much.